Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen, the show where we show you how to make things for the cheap, especially now considering groceries cost a fortune. Now, I have something really good today. You should be seeing it on the screen right now. It is going to be honey garlic chicken. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be spicy. It's going to be very flavorful. And uh, hopefully not too difficult. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh, one more thing. Be sure to like, share, sub. You know, all the other shameless plug stuff. All right, so we have a couple things here. We got some soy sauce, some rice vinegar, some crushed red pepper, honey, chicken stock. Be sure not to get chicken broth. You need chicken stock. We have three chicken breasts in here cut up. There's already a little bit of cornstarch on them. I'm going to try and mix it be all lazy. There's cornstarch, taco seasoning. Use your use whatever you want. You don't have to use chicken taco. And some parsley for cutting up and garnishing and stuff. And two tablespoons of butter. Exact measurements where close to them will be in the description. So I have about three chicken breasts here. I cut them up off camera. This is the pre-marinated stuff you can get at the store. Uh, it was $1.99 a pound. It's the cheapest they had. It was significantly cheaper than the fresh stuff. Okay, so first thing you do is you want to get your chicken. I'm using three chicken breasts here. It's pre-marinated, so I didn't add any salt or seasoning to it. But I did add two and a half or two tablespoons worth of cornstarch to the bowl and mixed it up. You want to get a light coating. You don't really have to get it too thick. Now, the next thing we want to do is mix our stuff together to make our honey sauce. So let's do that. Okay, so to make the honey sauce, you need a quarter cup of honey. A quarter cup of chicken stock. It's important that you use chicken stock. Chicken broth will not work. You need a tablespoon of crushed red pepper. There's already some in there earlier from me just filling it. I need some parsley and garlic. I kind of forgot to mention the garlic earlier even though it's in the name. Let's go ahead and pour all that in. Or as much as you can get. A tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm going to add that. I'm use a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Now go ahead and mix it together and set it aside for later. Oh, one more thing, you don't have to add the garlic now, you can add the garlic later. And I'll show you when to do that. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of oil to a pan and get it going. And you want the oil to warm up and once the oil warms up, we'll add the chicken. When your oil starts to sizzle, that's when you want to add your chicken. The chicken's in our pan, we're going to go ahead and Fry it for about five to six minutes. Go ahead and separate it if it's clumped together like this is. If you need to, add a little bit more oil. Be sure to periodically come by and stir the chicken. That way one side doesn't burn and the other side comes out raw. It's going to start turning this sickly white and goes yellow gray color. That's fine, that's normal. That's what you want. I see this is why you want to turn it over. This side is completely raw and uncooked, just about. And then this side has been cooked quite a bit. So you need to pay attention to that. Now your chicken temperature needs to be at 165 for it to be safe to eat. So keep that in mind. If you have a food thermometer, go ahead and try using it. It won't hurt. Alright, so around the six minute mark, go ahead and add your two tablespoons of butter right to the middle and let it melt. Uh, you don't want it to burn, so if you need to, go ahead and turn your temperature and your stove down to that medium or whatever you feel comfortable with to keep the butter from burning. And just let it go until it's gone and melted away. Once the butter is melted, go ahead and turn the flame down to like a low medium. And we're going to add our sauce mixture. And we're going to let it simmer until it thickens. It could take about five or so minutes. So go ahead and mix it together really well. And as I mentioned, once the, once the sauce thickens, that's when it's done. Now while you're waiting on your sauce to thicken, be sure to thoroughly mix it together really well. So you can coat the chicken really well with both the sauce and your garnishments. It's been about five or six more minutes. My total cook time is at 15 and a half minutes. And it is mostly done. The sauce can thicken up a little bit more, but for me, it's good enough. Now, what you could pair this with, you could pair this with some white rice or fried rice if you want. I don't have any on hand, but if you do or you feel like trying it, go for it. We even have a couple videos on the channel of how to do that. And uh, yeah, really easy to make. And there it is, bold. It comes out really nice, tastes great. All right, here we go in our display bowl. It's really good. It's nice and sweet. has a little bit of a heat flavor. Not too much because we only use crushed red pepper. Maybe we could add some cayenne powder to the 
sauce mix if you really want to make it a little bit hotter. But overall, really good stuff. Not too hard to make. It took about 15 minutes. I did let it sit for about 3 or 4 more after that just to let the sauce thicken up some more. But overall, really great stuff. So yeah, there you have it. The honey garlic chicken is really easy to make. Not all that time consuming. Maybe the vegetable prep, but I did all that off camera. Uh, you could buy chopped vegetables at the store if you really want to save the time. Cost more though. Don't do it. And speaking of cost, I want to say this cost around the $12 mark. I got the bag of chicken for $8. I only used about half of it, so about four of it went straight to the chicken. Well, $4 went straight to the chicken. The rest went into the produce, and it had the honey on hand. Honey, I'm not sure how much honey is going to cost you if you don't have any. So keep that in mind. Cost, it really wasn't that bad. And so yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to catch us Tuesdays and Thursdays most of the time. Maybe some extra days if I ever get around to fully going full time on this. And uh, yeah, thanks, and I'll see you next time.